2017. The first day of qualifying began. Minute by minute, the excitement mounted. For the warm-ups showed clearly that this would be the fastest field in history. With 70 entries and starting positions for only 33, each driver would have to bear down with everything his car had. At last, the warm-ups were ended. The time trial's about to begin. The competition would be fierce. Here were the world's fastest cars with the world's fastest drivers, each determined to win a position in the race. From the first, number 28 attracted the crowd's attention. Although other Cummins diesels had competed at Indianapolis before, here was a completely new kind of car powered by a modified commercial diesel engine, burning a commercial grade of fuel oil. Could she meet the speeds it would take to qualify for the race? From the pagoda, the judges gave the signal, and the first car started its four timed laps around the track. afternoon, every qualifying record had been shattered. There had never been anything like it at Indianapolis before. And now, number 28's turn was coming up. Suddenly, the long months of research and toil and anxiety were a part of the past. All that mattered was what Freddie and number 28 would do in the few minutes that lay ahead. There was one lap to get up speed and feed the car into the straightaway where the timer's watches were ready to start ticking. Then, this was it. Freddie poured it on, giving her all the speed the car could take and still hold the track. at a record smashing 139.104 miles per hour. The first car ever to average over 139 for a full lap, and she was a diesel. But there were still three laps to go. Lap number two at 138.206. The performance was fantastic. But already the speed was taking its toll. Tires were being punished as never before. The right front tire was grinding to shreds on the curves. Point nine three one. Could the tire last out the one lap that remained? Fans had called Freddie half man, half race car, and now he proved it. With the tread tearing loose, he kept his foot on the floor. He made it! He made it! New Indianapolis qualifying record of 138.01 miles per hour. Number 28 had proved that a truck-type diesel engine can compete against the most highly developed gasoline racing engines on their own terms and break their records. 